I'm Aethon, I play bass. James, play drums. We're in Black Tusk, and you're watching Seen But Not Heard podcast. Hey everyone, you're watching another Seen But Not Heard podcast. I'm Phil. Uh, we're out here in Portage, Indiana, and joining me on the podcast right now are the guys from Black Tusk. How are you guys doing? Excellent. Hey, good, good. It sounds like you guys are having a good time. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> throwing, throwing some dice, you know? <laughs> Making a little money or losing a little money. Yeah, yeah. a little bit of both. <laughs> right on. Um, you guys are, uh, are from the South, Savannah, Georgia, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. There, now, there's a lot of other um, progressive metal bands from that area, right? You got um, Mastodon in Atlanta and Zoro and Baroness are also from Savannah, Kailasa, right? Kailasa, 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 yeah. yeah. Did you, um, how did you get, did you, are you familiar with those bands? Do you hang out with them? Did you kind of get started with them or? We're, we're all buddies, man. It's such a tight knit scene that you have to know each other. So yeah, yeah we're we, usually on tour though. It's hard to get everyone together. Yeah. You know, nowadays. Talk about the scene though, from that area. Like what was it like kind of growing up in that and meeting people? Savannah is a small town. So everybody has this picture from the bands that come out of it, that it's a big place. It's uh, like, I think like the 10th smallest city in, in Georgia. So it's really tiny and basically everybody's so tight because there's nothing better to do than sure. play music and hang out with your buds. And you know, that's kind of how it all happened. It just, it started and it, I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much, yeah. pretty much that man. You what know, he it's said. Just, yeah. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> now I, uh, I imagine that you guys um, know John Baisley fairly well from Baroness, given that he did the, the cover art on yeah. your, uh, on your latest album as all well, right? Albums. On yeah. all of them. Okay, all cool. I think like eight, eight of them now. It's like yeah, he did I all of our split seven inches and EPs and one thing that was like the first release that didn't have his artwork on it. Yeah, yeah. Now was he? Did he was he the one that approached you about that, or did you come to him with the idea, or how did I think you? He approached us actually. Yeah, we, he was we really were friends. What we were doing. Yeah, we were friends and neighbors, and you know some of the Baroness dudes worked where I worked, and um, yeah, he came. He basically said, "I'm going to do your artwork," and. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sure. Bad thing. Yeah. No, he's great. I love it. Yeah. Um, all of his, all the album art that he's ever done and that I've seen is fantastic. So, cool. Um, how's the uh, the tour been so far? I was just talking with the guys from um, East of the Wall. They said it sucked. It's really not very fun. And yeah. <laughs> See everything but the East of the Wall guys are now. Just <laughs> we're we're only like four days deep into it. So it's uh it's great, man. We're having actually really good time. And you know we got I think another three and a half weeks in the US and we fly over to do Europe with Red Fang for a month. And um, right, yeah. so it's, you know, it, the tip of the iceberg, not even the tip of the yeah. iceberg, it's, we're just getting in the swing of things, so. You guys, um, I also saw that you recently got booked for the, uh, the Orion Music Festival with Metallica. How did that come about? Um, we, got we, were just, we were just told. <laughs> yeah, they asked us like that was a question, like that was an option. Oh, do you want to go play with all these awesome bands that you like? And, yeah. Um, you know, yeah, of course. Right. So, yeah, right. sure, we have to show up, you know. I think the biggest thing was about, like, if we were going to be home to do it yeah. or available. Yeah. So, I mean, we would have made ourselves available at that point. So. Yeah. And that's a, uh, I mean, that's an event that Metallica is basically curating, right? Yeah, yeah they. they put so did they like together. hand pick, hand select each of the bands, or I, did they have kind of like? I don't a, think they, I don't know. I don't think they have that much interaction. But I think that their agent or whatever, whoever's setting it up for them, has knows a whole bunch of other people, and it's like grapevine thing, you know, up and coming yeah. bands, and it, it kind of seems like it's separated into like the up and coming bands and then the the tried and true bands, and so it's a whole bunch of options for like startup bands and people who've been around to play with their idols and heroes and for everyone else to get a whole you know big array of music mm -hmm. all at one place at one time so yeah, it's interesting because it's, it's not just a metal yeah. festival it's like yeah, it's just a music yeah, you know like so. lucero yeah. and stuff and you know it's right. it's gonna be awesome man i can't wait to actually sit on the side of the stage and watch all these bands you know yeah very cool. Now your your latest album, Set the Dial, right, came out a year ago. Um, have you started? Uh, not even a year not ago. Even, not even. Came yeah. out in October, the end okay. of October. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I imagine you're probably playing a lot of the material from that on this tour and then upcoming tours. But are you kind of making plans for the next album? Are you starting to think ahead that far? Or you're just kind of basking in the glow of having already have pretty much an intro written for the next album. No kidding. And a split seven inch with a band called Dead Yet from Savannah. Okay. And uh, that'd be coming out probably late summer, early fall. There's 
always something we're going we're, on. We're with never, us. we're never stagnant, and yeah. it's it's kind of cool, you know. In between our break of, we wrote the album, and we kind of want to let it breathe a little bit, so we started the, the split seven inch with Dead Yet, and it's kind of cool. They're they're sort of like a D beat uh, crust punk band, and they're covering one of our songs. We're covering one of theirs and an original from both of us. Okay, and it's gonna be a really fun time so far. We already went and recorded ours, and they're recording theirs. I think next gone, next yeah. month while we're gone, yeah. so. It should look. It should be something to look for. It'll be pretty fun. Yeah. It's all gonna be like Savannah. It's the Savannah label. It's two Savannah bands, and the guy doing the artwork is well known from a lot of people, and he's like basically from Savannah. Yeah. So I mean, it's all Savannah across the board. With that's it. awesome. You guys are really repping the South. That's, that's why we went with John Basley originally as well yeah. for the artwork. It was like you know you got to keep it tight knit and give respect to who helps out and you know, where you're from. It's yeah. That's what makes you who you are. So yeah. no hiding it. May as well embrace it. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. I'm excited for you guys. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out on the podcast. Um, I always like to close this out with um, giving the artist a chance to plug or promote anything. I don't know if there's other bands you're listening to or things you're reading or stuff that you want other people to know about or share with your fans. Man, we listen, read, and look at everything there is as long as it's good and has, you know, heart behind it. So yeah. and until, you know, we get bored, we're going to keep doing the same thing so we hope we see everybody out at any show we possibly can get mm -hmm. it is well bands that play with us keep doing what you're doing too you yeah. know like it's a music thing more than anything you know so right on. cool well thanks so much you guys hope our paths cross again and uh enjoy the show yeah <laughs> all right thank you we'll see you yeah. thanks so much you guys yeah. appreciate it